Okay, I'm taking a little break from the shed to work on getting the septic line underneath our driveway. Because it's been nice warm weather, it's had a chance to, to uh, uh, thaw out, but it's still wet in there so I can dig easily. That'll be nice where I need to dig. However, it's a little muddy, so I already went through there a little bit ago and, and just caking on my shoes. Had extra 20 pound weights to my legs. So I'm going to try to quickly get this in because tomorrow I'm hoping that uh, we can uh, get some gravel over here to put down on the driveway and spread it out so that uh, these wet days coming this winter will not be so muddy driving in and off the property. We tried one time before to get started and got our main line cut and then grabbed our, our Y, which is sitting down there, and went to put it on realized I had the wrong size. So I had to get a different one. It was a four inch. I thought I had a four inch, but it was a three inch. <laughs> so now I've got the correct one. We're going to hook that up. So it's going to tee off or Y off, I should say, and head off this direction so that we can run it then over to connect to the health center. Um, but then also this will be our main that goes underneath the driveway and over to where the house will be. All right, this is where we left it off last time. We stuffed that hole with the rag so that it would keep the dirt out of it. Now we need to connect a new Y. I need to kneel down in the mud here. Just give up trying to be clean. It's gonna be muddy. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah. That's still pretty rough on that side. It's still kind of rough right there. Well, let's see if it'll go on. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Try to get this cleaned up a bit more. Okay, I'll let that dry for a second. So you have to have uh, a different PVC glue for here because I'm going from ABS pipe, this black pipe, and hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully it's not just black down here. If so, this video will be scrubbed. <laughs> but I have to use this ABS to PVC pipe. So this is going from black to regular PVC. ABS to PVC. Uh, I'm needing pliers. Oh, I can't get it. Just beginning to wonder if I even got it with the pliers. There we go. Look at the color of that. Cool. Slide it in and give it a little twist. And I want to have a little bit of a incline right there. Perfect. We'll let that set. Now I do know that uh, I'm going to have to do some digging here. I can definitely see that from the pipe here to right there. That's, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but that's definitely raised there. So I'm going to start doing some digging right there to get that ready. There's just a high spot right through there. Okay, I dug the trench out. I don't know if you can see it. Probably just see a dark hole there. And I didn't show you show you me digging it out because I figure who wants to see a fat old guy huffing and puffing and flinging dirt out of the trench? I don't. I'm sure you don't. But I've kind of basically got it out. I don't know if it's the right rise, but we'll check and see. I'm going to get the pipe, put it in there, kind of do a test fit, check the, check the level, see how the rise is going. I'm hoping it's pretty good. That'll be nice. I put the pipe in, it's still a little high going out. Um, so I need to just shovel a little bit more. So 
more fat man huffing and puffing. Here we go. Okay, we did it. Got the pipe hooked up. Got our slant going up that way at the right level. Thank goodness Brady came in or I wouldn't have been able to do that. So that was now, hard to get in. Huh? That was hard to get in. Yeah, it was. I would not have been able to do it on my own. Okay, now just gotta go underneath the drive the driveway now. Well, we did it. We got it all run across here. Our main line. Underneath the driveway, we got just put didn't glue the elbow on down there. We just <coughs> stuck it on just enough to hold that pipe up so we know where the end of that is. Then we can dig that out and keep the main line going all the way out to the house out there. So we're going to start filling that in, pack the dirt in around it down here as well. And we'll be good to bring in some gravel for this driveway. I'm excited. I hope you can do it tomorrow. I haven't heard back from them. So that's a lot of gravel all the way around. Big circular drive. But that's going to be an awesome driveway. Uh, really function well for us getting in and out of here. I handed the, the camera to Clint so that he could do a little selfie video shooting. And then he was like, oh no, I'm not gonna be shooting, I'm gonna be in the tractor. And so I was like, okay, well then give me the microphone back. And he's like, but I wanna do commentary. And I said, well, you can't do commentary while running the tractor. And he goes, but I'll have a mic. I was like, it doesn't matter. You're inside heavy machinery, it still gets picked up and it makes the audio bad. This is, this is why Clint always has bad audio. It's because he doesn't know how it works. I don't think that was too bad for a first run. Uh, looks pretty good. A little thicker than I want it to start with, I think. Um, so I think I'm gonna take another run at it and just try to push it a little bit thinner. I don't know. This, I definitely want it wider. I mean, that's only about a I don't know, eight foot span. I think I want about twice that almost. So um, yeah, we'll give it another shot and see how it goes. It's all an experiment. <laughs> And voila, here we can see the completed driveway, or half of it anyway. Uh, but right after we got the driveway put in, it rained for about two days. Uh, so you can see puddles all over the property. But the drive through driveway held up pretty well. Uh, we're not getting bogged down in the mud, which was the main thing about putting in the driveway is allowing us to be able to get on and off the property still because that mud turns so slick. You are stuck in it, no problem. It is rough. Uh, but here's the trailer parked where eventually the barn and the paddocks are gonna go and the piers for the health center and just wrapping around again to see the other side of the driveway 
you can see the parking pad that we made for the trucks so that people can still pull all the way through the property. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice having this here. Especially since we're supposed to be getting more and more moisture this winter, finally. So it'll be super, super useful to have. And here you can see the utility shed. Um, it looks as though the tape that we put on held up well. Uh, we were worried about that with the, the rain and everything, but it stuck well, which is good because that stuff's expensive. We don't want to have to redo it. Uh, the utility shed's coming along well. Um, Got to cut in the windows and doors on the panel soon. And then I think we start on the roof before we put the tanks in. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough in another video. But it's all coming together really well. And it's cool seeing all of our projects uh, out here on the, the property. Look at that. Nice little homestead coming together. Uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys guys joining us, seeing us get one step closer to uh, accomplishing all our goals out here, and we hope to see you next time on Castle Farms Homestead.